Oh, hang on. There's a little demo thing I didn't even know was in the game. Ah, oh, it shows you things like opening missile doors that you can angle your shots. Hang on, what's it gonna show you? Oh, the key hunters. Yeah, they're they're pretty cool enemies. Oh, holy shit! <laughs> oh, it's the speed booster. Oh crap, the grapple beam. I didn't even know it was in the 2D Metroids. <laughs> and she poses for the shot. Ah, uh, that's what you... Yeah, you showed me that. Or you, you told me to try that out. Jumping with the charge beam. Uh, did you figure out what the jumping with the charge beam did? It allows you to take a hit from, you know, an enemy when you jump into him. Kind of. It's um. It's a way to. It's like a false screw attack, um, where like. The only difference between it and a screw attack is that the fake one goes away if you hit an enemy, so it still deals the damage, but it's not persistent through the jump. I figured as much. Anyways, there we go. Now we can get started. <laughs> Start game. All right, down in the. Got a game. Hang on, it was crazy. Oh no, we're in the lava section. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just gotta remember those controls. What kind of accent do you think people in Norfair have? I don't know. Oh, fuck. Get off. Only wounds will have teeth because that's where Metroids come from. <laughs> An accent with a lot of teeth. Yeah. Really loaded. <laughs> Alright, that's. Yeah, that's the second. That's like a lisp. It's, it's like. Oh wait, this is North. That's like Victorian. I think everyone just talks very fast here because they're probably almost gonna catch on fire. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they're, uh, they're already on fire. Oh, hang on a minute, I gotta. Okay, I was thinking that might have been the charge shot, but it looks like it's not. I guess. Looks like the mustard bean. Yeah. It's what about what about the charred bomb? I mean, charred beam. It's, it's a beam that chars because you're in the lava area. Oh, I could do a lava run. I was just too stupid to realize you could blow that up at the time. Well. Oh shit. Yeah. A side hopper. It's a Diskiga. Yeah, they were in the. They were also in the first Metroid. I wasn't, so I didn't see them. <laughs> God, get away, get away, get the fuck away. You should have been there. I only saw them in another room. Gotcha, bitch. So, yeah, this is a nice tall room. Okay. So how useful are you finding the map? Huh? Oh, half the time I'm not even paying attention to that damn thing. Hmm. Interesting. You, can, you would, uh, uh, if this were the world of Metroid 1, would you be using it more? Uh... Mm, I don't know. I, I think maybe... Oh. We'll have to wait until Metroid Zero missions to, for that. To decide that. Oh my god. Oh, those are the Garudas, yeah. 
Gerudo, is this is yeah, a Yeah, they, uh, the king is Ganon. <laughs> king? I thought Ganon was a prince. Oh, is he the know. prince of darkness? Isn't that like the title of Satan anyway? No, he's the king of evil, or is that Ganon and not Ganondorf? Mm -hmm, I think Ganondorf will tell him to be king. Although, I don't know, well, there's, there also, it, there's also Skyward Sword spoilers, I might have to say, but I don't want to. Don't, don't, I have not played that game, don't spoil that game for me. It turns out that Link is Ganon. <laughs> Turn. <laughs> uh, charge me is very useful. Oh, that's why I see yeah. people might want to play. Okay, I think I get how the moonwalk works now. If you hold still and then move in the opposite direction she's facing, then you do it. Otherwise, if you move and then move the other way, you can turn freely. So the fact that you have to wait so many frames? Probably. How do you tell? Uh, or I... No. Oh, why do you think... moonwalk so slowly? Why isn't uh, there a moon running? You can't run on the moon. You try to run on the moon, you'll fall off the planet. I believe there is a police song about that. About running off the moon? About walking on the moon. Then, then the, 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 the guy with oh, the moves do that. that even take... Oh. Oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Uh -oh. Okay, looks like it stopped. I guess those guys were not Oh, it's the dragons. That look more like seahorses. The seahorses. I think they're seahorse. Sea dragons. And that guy was a Metroid one as well, right? Yeah, he was. Are horses dragons? <laughs> what dragons? Are horses dragons? Can we have like... Can we call them land dragons? Well, if Yoshi is a dragon, then sure, horses are dragons. Yoshi's a horse. Yo Yoshi's my horse. Uh oh. Oh, you fucker. Oh, man. I didn't realize how quickly you could lose health in the lava. Why am I playing like a jackass? Stop trying to be showy. Oh wait, do I gotta kill him now? I oh, thought no, you were just exper- no, I thought you were just experimenting. No, I was trying to be showy. Cause, cause I wanted to see if I could dodge them and the fire things in the floor at the same time, and you actually can. Whoa, it's the waivers again, but they're a different color. Yeah, they still have those green bubble rooms from the first Hang on. My usual trick is to go up, not down. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Again with the fake bulbs. Have you ever tried staying on a bubble? No. Can't say that I have. Not even bubble wrap? I... Actually, yes. <laughs> Very fun. But, but I mean like <laughs> like a bubble wrap without any floor underneath. No. <laughs> ah, safe. What's kind of cool is that Super Metroid saves your health as well. So uh, if you die in game over. You will come back to that room with 48 health. Did oh. Metroid 2 also do that? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And that. Gotcha. So let's.
let's see what's hiding in this corner. Since I can't go up because not even my high jump is enough for that. You know, speaking of health, Metroid 2 didn't have too many, like, farming spots, did it? Uh, no, but it did have lot regeneration spots. It didn't have... And, it actually it didn't. I mean, they were they were there, but there wasn't that many. I think there's like... There were, I thought it was like one per area. No. Because regeneration or farm? The regeneration. Because I know um, in a lot of those areas where there was only like three Metroids to kill, the, um, there, there was none of those. And I remember having to go back into a previous area in order to... Actually, no. I, I remember that. Grind. Yeah, but you remember when that happened to me. That was really funny because it wasn't happening to me. <laughs> but yeah, then uh, Super Metroid has kind of a mix, right? It's got, like... They're a lot more generous with the big health balls, I know that. They're a lot more generous with pickups in general. Yeah. They're more generous with pickups, and there are both uh, farming spots and rooms that explicitly just like give you health like you plug her arm in and she gets restored yeah yeah hang on let me see if i can i wish i could plug my arm in things in real life and get restored in the if it's more like going to be jacking your neck into some cord you're gonna have a cord on your oh. neck that lets you go to the internet can I plug in Mega Man and... <laughs> Are you gonna store Mega Man .exe into your brain? So, yeah. I mean, if I uh, get any viruses in my brain, oh, they'll be good. Gotcha. Good for what? Good for killing the viruses in my brain. I don't think. Computer viruses and biological viruses are the same. Well, they might if, like, you have a jack in your neck. I mean, you could get both, but I don't think one can um, affect the other. Ah, power bomb. No. Hamburgers. <laughs> Hamburgers. It's a sideways hamburger. Hamburger helper. She's got to go from Norfair to Red Robin. Yeah. And then she'll meet Cammy Dunaway. <laughs> she's, on the, she's on the board of directors for Red Robin. <laughs> uh, My fanfic is at last complete. Hang on, is, it, is this the same room? I think it is, because this is the one from the, the demo. Or the little demo it shows you if you don't press start and just let, have the game sit on the start screen long enough. Oh. Yeah, it shows you certain things about the game that probably take you a bit to realize. Oh, whoa! Fuck, they're Wait. way different. Speaking of certain things about the game, I want to ask this while it's not relevant, so I don't give anything away. Um, do you mind if I uh, touch on sequence breaking spots, or would that be considered a spoiler? Um... Well, I can already predict where some sequence breaking spots are, like, in... I can't move that cursor down. So you see the room right next to the save, up there? Yeah. That big green room? I imagine that that high ledge, you could probably get over that if you can do the wall jump, but it's just a big pain in the ass. God damn it. How did you figure that out? Because... <laughs> because that's what I would have tried if it wouldn't take me to seven centuries to get it right. <laughs> yeah. Or I could morph ball bomb up there, but that would equally be uh, not fun for you to watch. <laughs> Those are high-level skills that you learn over the course of multiple playthroughs by, like, getting a highly intuitive sense of Samus's uh, get the, oh, momentum. No. Oh, no. Oh, um. man, it wasn't that far away. Hey, you got the bikini, and you didn't even beat it. Yay! This was before they finalized their Zero Suit design. It took them, what, like, 
17 years to make up their minds on what, what she should look like underneath the suit? Um, I don't know when Zero Mission came out. Oh, god damn it. I could have had. I think that came out in like 2003, 2004. Was that third party? Yeah, it would have been something like 18 years. No, it was 2004. Wow, that was when the DS came out. We already had Metroid Prime Hunters. That's funny because I was just spitballing. I didn't think it would be. I didn't think I'd be so accurate on how long it actually took them. So, yeah, those are called gamuts, and they change the way they work in this game. Where five of them come out of. Oh, you. So at once. I, I guess they changed the, the gamut of gamuts. <laughs> Am I using oh. that word right? The gamut being the range. Well, uh, it, yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah, so it's like range. Damn. I'm they fly up to meet your your middle, and then two fan out towards your feet, and the other two fan out towards your head. Yeah, that is that is an increased gamut, definitely. Literally. But I think oh. gamut is used more abstractly oh, than that. Here. Or the word that is. And the enemy. Yeah, that's pretty abstract. I don't know what I'm looking at here. <laughs> oh, that, I was sure that was gonna work. Damn, you can't tell me there's nothing here. Well, I guess you can. I can, but I'd probably, I might be lying. I'm not sure. You know what? I probably. I, here's what I'm guessing. I need to speed booster through that. I'm, that's what I am guessing because note the straightaway at the bottom, and then the door on the left. That's also the room to speed booster in. Or no, no, you speed open the door. Speed booster. I hardly know her. Actually, it, it was the one with the gate. But what I imagine is oh, you open that gate to clear the way so you can speed booster through that. That's my guess. I want to see later if I'm right. Let's go here. <laughs> ah, fuckers. I wouldn't mind if you took a few minutes to regain all your health and items. That's alright. Oh, this is a good grind spot right here. Yeah. Like, look, I'm already, I already got almost two times. Yeah. It's weird that they still have farming, but they went out of their way to make it really easy. Yeah. Look, already three tanks. I don't even need. Them. What if Mega Man did farming like this? It kind of does, actually. I don't. It does. I'm not seeing it done like this. It does farming, but not to like that extent where like you can just stop for two seconds and get all of your health back. Yeah. Well, I don't yeah, think not not two seconds because it's still like mostly random, and we're talking like a low yeah. random chance. That's like true. I remember in Solar Man stage, Mega Man 10, there are those enemies that will constantly, or actually no, I'm thinking of another one, but they do have another enemy where that multiplies, and you can totally have, oh what the fuck. You use that to, you know, get help out of it. Ha! It's a magma man. Oh, shit. Bastard. What are you? Dead is what you are. I like that when you do the things you don't know. Thing. It's just to shoot it. <laughs> yeah. That's how you figure out what something is, just by shooting it. Oh, <laughs> oh it's fake. That lava isn't going up, is it? Um, gotcha. what, what would you do if I told you it was? Nothing. No, I would, I would probably work for my life. Okay, I'm out of missiles. Fuck. 
Wait. Damn. I feel bad for this guy. <laughs> That's all he'll do for the rest of his life. Until I blow it up. Nature's Lava Taxi. Oh my god. Jeez. Oh, whoa! I saw what you Lava were doing there. Lava Taxi, is that the sequel to Crazy Taxi? What if there was a Crazy Taxi stage in Volcano Gnome? Uh... <laughs> there aren't Whoa. very many ro volcanoes. I, I, what do you mean, are, what do you mean by very many? In comparison to what? Uh, like cities? Places where um, taxes are? Hmm, I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there are a lot of volcanoes oh, in the world. Shit. Like, I didn't know he could no. down here. small or muddy or lava or there are probably a lot more um submarinal volcanoes than um sand marinal. Oh shit. Can I Oh, what the hell? Okay. I was trying to run through that really cool. Let me try it again. Yeah. All right. Very clearly a speed booster section. the B button to run. Thank you. Oh, crap. Time to get the fuck out of here. Mm -hmm. oh! <laughs> that last get door. Samus impression. <laughs> I'm thinking of killing all those enemies, but... Nah. So I got the so speed booster. What was that? I was gonna say, uh, that's a segment of this game that strikes me as particularly cheesy. What? Like, that, uh, as like a quote-unquote tutorial section about 
how the speed booster works. Oh, where they give you something and then give you another thing to immediately you bastards to test it out on? I force you to learn it to escape. Doesn't seem to... Uh, I don't know, I don't mind. Well, only way is down. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> oh, wait a minute. This is, this, oh, this is the same room. Okay. Save! It always makes me antsy to watch someone and wonder if they're gonna save. <laughs> Say what? The princess? Uh, the last Metroid. Oh, yeah, I guess it's that. The galaxies you have to wonder, you're just like, on the edge of your seat on whether or not they're gonna save the Metroid in the Ridley fight. First Ridley fight. <laughs> I know. If Adrian had, had gotten that right the first time, he wouldn't be on this stupid planet. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, another missile tank's down there? You may have died after oh, getting it. Oh, that's right, I died. So I'll get that, I'll get that later. Well, I haven't been down here yet, so... Oh wait, I have. Yeah, my dumbass. I went through that door, but I didn't go lower. <laughs> Oh wait, yeah, I have. It's Magma Man from Kirby. Magma Man from Kirby, all right. Magma Man. Oh yeah, Kirby sixty four. There's a boss that looks just like that. Oh yeah, that's what I can't do with that. <laughs> this is the time for the speed booster. Yeah! You got the blue suit. Oh, now it's gone. <laughs> oh. W wait, what? Alright, that's right, bees cancel. Get. I would like to say. I don't think you can do it more than once per entering the room. That. <laughs> it's a pretty good tease. Ah, oh, this one. I've already been here. I already got what I needed. That was the room <clears> that <throat> I jump. Can't go through that yet. Wait. Oh, now I remember. There's a room up top left with the closing gates that I can get through. I think it's this one. Yes, it's this one. Oh, hamburgers!
go. Oh. Are super missiles the only things you can kill those with? I, th I believe so, yeah. You know. Cane of Burna. <laughs> I guess. Wouldn't that just make you invincible? Or I thought that was the Cane of Somalia. Yeah, it's the Cane of Somalia. It's the one Can you use the Cane of Sumatra, the one that makes blocks? I think I might have needed super missiles. For what? For what do you think you need them for? Uh, for this fucker, because uh, I, I see that fight there, you need the morph ball to get in there, but I don't. I, I, oh. I can't shoot him so he can make a platform or whatever, I can already see his two other buddies down there that help do that. Alright. They shoot through it. Shoot, they do? Yeah, see, oh, they're shooting do. through the platform. Yeah, they're wave beams. They're trying to wave hello oh, to you. Oh, now I see what the point of this was. It's to make you go under it. Because I need the ice beam for that. Which means, yeah, ice beam, ha <laughs> We all beam for ice beam. You can beam. Yeah. I remember, um... I saw that you shared your Force Temple thing on Rizoma, and... There was something about how... In, like, the paths of Third Poe, there's, like, that Twisted Room where the game... Kind of forces you to go back and... Oh, shit! It still goes through that. In order to progress, kind of like what happens here. And with the small keys, too. Oh shit. Gotcha. You should also know to bomb that area. Oh, I've shot him! Oh no. Now you gotta go back. Wouldn't the lava melt the ice? It's, Wouldn't the it's, lava it's, melt Samus? Everything else? I don't know. In the know. metal? Oh no! Fork! No! I got. <laughs> Wait, no. Fight combat is such a weird thing in this series. I don't get why they like it so much. What combat? Pipe combat. Oh. Like, more oh, football combat. Oh. I, never, I never thought of it as pipe combat, but I don't know. It's funny. I thought of it as tubes combat.
there something I'm supposed to be doing? And I'm missing it. Or is this whole section just to troll me? Or am I so just supposed to... Is it supposed to do that to make like a fast way to go back instead of me going the old way? Is this rhetorical or a genuine question? I... You know what? I'll figure it out, be but here's my suspicion. I'm thinking the purpose of this pipe up here is just to make a fast way for you to go back and continue yeah. with the game. Yeah, folded. Your suspicion would be correct. Folded level design, they call it. Uh, is it. Is it folded if you are taking a path that is completely separated from the old one? Hmm. I guess not. I'd have to... Ask about Isn't folded level design just being lazy? Uh oh. Well, it actually, well, no. You can make arguments either way. Unless you have, unless you have like new language or something. Yeah, and as we established, that area there wasn't. Because the level design is still, still the same, like the landscape at least. So, um, oh, in the Richard Terrell book. A level can only be considered folded if, on backtracking, there is distinct con content. Oh, oh okay, so then it really can't be, it can't be lazy then. Yeah. Yeah. So like, like Wario Land 4 is the poster boy for folded. Yeah, I was about to say that. Because what is? Wario Land 4. Because in oh, the, uh, Wario. Oh, yeah. In the Wario Land games, yeah, they make you race back through the levels. And you know what? Only that, Wario Land 4 and Shake It do. That's actually the only Wario game I've ever played, and it kind of does that. I don't think it, it doesn't appear Shake as it. well made as the. Uh, there's gotta be something. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not. I, 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 I didn't finish Wario Shake It. I don't know. I wanted to get all the uh, objectives, but it was way too difficult. I remember there was one stage just like, don't ever touch the water. Yeah. Oh! That, whoa! That's what a... he does. Yeah. Let's uh, give you a kiss. Carnic kiss, maybe. Is that Damn. Super Mario RPG? Yeah. Oh my god! Oh god, that was. Did someone just blow up? <laughs> that was a lightning bolt. Did it actually rain? It's raining right- yeah, it rained. Wow. It's raining in thunder. Oh, I remember burning. this. This was also a lightning Metroid. Yeah, uh, this really sucks to wall jump up. You know what else sucks to wall jump up? Everything? That's why- In this game? Yeah, the... Unless you're- Unless you're a masochist. I mean, I'm good at wall jumping, so I don't really care. I learned how to do it at a young age, so it's like right in the blank now. Are, is, is your name the Prince, and uh, are you from Persia? No, I learned how to do it in this game. Holy shit, was there is no there point to this? There had to be a point. Is there wall jumping in Prince of Persia? Yeah, uh, well, the 3D ones. Well, that doesn't count. The 3D wall jumping is usually made easier. God damn it. I was hoping there'd be something up here. I think oh! Super Mario 64. Don't do that. I'm forgetting. And it's. <laughs> and you look at it more, and it's like, hey, there's something there. I mean, look how the platform doesn't all go all the way. It, um. In general, does help to look at the map and see if you've been somewhere before. But I don't want to. Okay, that, that's fair. Fair enough. Oh, fuck, get the... I mean, Super Metroid didn't really need the map, because its levels are more distinct. Ah! And then Metroid Shit, you... 1. Although, I guess the levels are pretty distinct in Metroid 2, but everything's in black and white, so it's still kind of hard to parse. That's why they should have colorized Metroid 2. 
they, they were gonna bug it and they didn't. You mean they're like also gonna colorize Kirby's Rigging. Yeah, they're gonna release a DX version like they did with the Awakening. Oh, yeah. I don't. That's Maybe. another thing I've been wondering because I'm about to get to release Awakening eventually, and I don't know if I should do the original or the color version. You should do the so, color version. Do you want to know what the difference is? Isn't there just like. Well, well yeah. yeah, I guess. If there are any meaningful difference besides, oh, it just has color, then I'd like to know about it. Fuck! Fuck! Get the fuck out of there! <laughs> They're called Samus Eaters. So, That's their official name. Fuck! Fuck! Anyway, one more, what are the differences? Uh, uh, there is an extra dungeon, but it's very short. And not at all satisfying. It gets you, it gets you a reward, though. Fuck! Like, yeah, you get, get to choose one a power up choose color. Shit. Did the cat come in that dungeon? Yes. I don't know. Did Capcom port it? I don't think that would make sense. Right, so they don't do a lot they of They ported a link to the past yeah. for Game Boy Advance and then the Four Swords Palace. The first games were the Minish, or not the Minish, the. The Oracles. Wait, yeah, this room sucks, by the way. Yeah, this, those things are really annoying. When you fall in them, holy fuck. You just gotta do precise jumps. Don't you like precise jumps in the Metroid game? <laughs> oh, I could have done that better. Just shoot left and right like that. Oh, I guess, um, wait. Uh, I heard Capcom somewhere. Oh, just talk about the uh, handheld Zeldas. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the ones that I have no idea what they're even for freaking called because they're like the ones that no one plays. I like the Minish Cap. I think Legend of Zelda is... and the Revenge of Chun Li. Um. Oh, I've never tried doing this. But before. yeah. Link's Awakening, the original one, is more glitchable. Oh. Yeah, that's why Soup likes it so much. Oh shit, you locked me out. Oh man, I'm sorry. No. That sounds like my Saturday night. Acha! <laughs> Your Saturday you can, night. You can add a laugh track. Up, up, up. Woo! Where does this go? I always go up, so those leaving those rooms don't check. I hear Zelda noises. Who's what? Who is playing, and what are you playing? I'm playing Wind Waker HD. Yes, I got it right. Oh, I totally knew. <laughs> got what? Oh, and you were playing Wind Waker HD. Can you get it right by not saying anything? Well, I did it in my head. That's that's what happens when you do math in your head. They don't give you credit. Yes. <laughs> oh my I'm god, that's so true. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about that for like the first ten minutes though. Oh well, I got the swift sail and it's really cool. By the way, what do you think of the Whoa holy fuck! Oh my god. They just want to hug you. They want to oh, hug you with upside down put, gravity. Yeah, they put that enemy inside the other enemy. I guess you can say they're literally layered. So is that enemy being eaten by the flower? I don't no, I think they're in a sim. No, uh, they're in a symbiotic relationship where the fuck away the the insect. Grabs Samus into the Samus here, and they, they can both eat. I I I wanted to put paper on the science of video games. Oh, Powerball. That sounds like a worthwhile endeavor. I think it sounds like a waste of time unless you're really pedantic. <laughs> yeah, 
So without the power bomb, that's kind of a trap room that says kill everything or we don't get out. That's a trap. Oh, this is a safe. Okay. Yes. So I've checked out all the rooms here. I guess I can. I have to go back because. Yeah, hang on a minute. Okay, they're not gonna do that. Were there any rooms in Metroid 2 where there are like secrets and save rooms? Well, there weren't really save rooms per se. It was save pedestals. Yeah, they're just save pedestals uh, indiscriminately dumped somewhere. I guess typically in the entrance to one of those, uh, in the entrance to something. Whoa. Yeah. Hey, remember when I said those things look like rib cages in Metroid 2? Well, this is kind of like that, except it makes more sense. And it doesn't hurt rib you. cages? Oh, Greg will know what I'm talking about. Rib cages. What are you talking about, Greg? Uh... I don't remember, to be honest. Why, why did you call them rib cages? Because that's what they look like, the things on the walls in Metroid 2. That also hurt you. I can't remember things on the walls. I, I remember can't... things dancing around the walls, and you saw that there's power bombs to defeat them anyway. Because you were using the spider ball all the time. Man, this part of the game really likes tight jumps, huh? It's North I think Super Metroid likes tight jumps in general. Huh. Oh, I got some. It, it likes to be claustrophobic. Ooh, Power got the burger. hamburger helper. Let's give it a spin, shall we? Oh my god, time to fuck everything. Dude. What? You're still alive? You're still alive? Well, I guess I picked the worst enemies to try that out on. So much for cheesy. So much for dangerous. What? So much for dangerous. <laughs> but yeah, they don't. Well, oh, give you that's, immediate a, that's demo. some weird shit. It's like you were shooting past him. Yeah. I'm gonna say something on sequitur. It should have ported Sim Ant to the Game Boy Advance. Because you could spell Game Boy Advance. Uh, a yes. V -A Game Boy S. Yes. yes. Thank you. Game Boy Ad Ad Ant Ants. Advance Ants. <laughs> That's terrible. It's perfect. It's, also it's, those guys it's almost as good as Wii music. like the room for burgers. There's, there's oh, a room. Fuck. I think every room is for burgers. <laughs> oh no. Where this am I? This is beautiful. Well, at least he's saying. Where am I? Where the yeah, fuck am I? Power burgers. Dude, where am Oh, there I am. Get out! Get out! <laughs> um, you can't get out. Once you super missile that thing, Did they die to super missiles? Fuck! There we go. Yeah. There you go. Got out. Oh, you dick. There we go. Oh, that was such See? a horrible idea. Hang on. <laughs> Fuck you. Let's do it again. <laughs> Get out here. Come on. Um, I think it only reacts. It doesn't... Shit. It doesn't oh, have a pattern. Fork. I missed. Oh. God damn it. They don't take that many missiles, but still they're a pain. Can you kill those things with missiles? I don't think you can, so. Yeah. Ah! Oh! F this room. That's a good room. I'll go back there later when I kind of
have more super missiles. It was a good route to have burgers. Yeah. So next time I won't be stupid and use it near the entrance. I'll go all the way to left after having killed all the side hoppers. They're pretty humongous for side hoppers. So after kill all the side hoppers, oh, fuck, you still can't do this. You could say they're super side hoppers. You could. Super size hoppers. That's why right. burgers super size. See. See where I'm going with this? Why did they do a <laughs> McDonald's? Why did they do a McDonald's tie-in for this game? They could have like had Metroid have like McDonald's arches. McDroid. Yeah. Oh god. Have... No, I, I wanted to kill myself anyways, because then I'll have health, missiles, and power bombs. And bombs. Yeah, because I'm like a short walk away from the room. Or a short jump. Good thing Metro doesn't count how many times you die. What, did they do that in the other ones? No, they, they do it in Zelda. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I hate staring at that number and seeing 129 on it. That's my lucky number. It's a testament to your willpower. <laughs> I know. More like persistence and then stubbornness. Alright, so now... <clears throat> I was hoping there would be a secret revealed, but... Hmm. You can't kill these things, can you? The Samus Eaters? No. I don't think there's any way to kill those. Come out of here. Come up. Come on. You... Alright, alright. Hang on. I can do this. Uh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. No! Oh, shit, I was trying to avoid that. Hmm. Oh, Jesus. Wait, was there any point to this room, or is it just a dick with me? What, you motherfucker? I don't think, yeah, it's power up there, I mean, you gotta use this missile. So, yeah. Trolled the hell out of me. Well, I'm gonna slow down. Wait a minute. Oh shit, I have to go somewhere. That means there's. Oh, wait, that room has. Somewhere? Room. Yeah, there's something I gotta get here that I don't know what because I'm pretty much. Like, that room doesn't go anywhere, this room's locking me out because you need yellow. So either there's a passage here I don't know about. Or there was something in that room that I missed. Hmm. Let me check again. Go up here. Or maybe I just power bomb up here. I mean, yeah, what's the... what's the harm, right? Mm, indeed. Yeah, nothing. Oh, the yellow's the power bomb! <laughs> Motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> I think it's interesting that you thought something else would open in a room like that. The power bombs aren't yellow, so... Are you sure? Well, they make yellow. 
It's like my dog on uh, our Saturday night evening. I remember this room. <laughs> Is this the same room? No, it's not. That's not where I saw the key but it, it, it's, it's, it's the... It looks like the caves from when I first entered. Yeah, it looks like the area before the spore spawn. Yeah, when you activate the laser eye and then everything comes back to life, that's what it looks like. That room had yellow, but this room... Oh, had that. Blue. Whoa. Can I powerbomb this? Let's try. No, those tubes are made of. What are, what are they called in Met in um Metroid Prime? Benzium? Is that the ones that the power bombs blow up? Oh. Uh, uh, is Antium? I don't know. Isn't Byzantine Empire? <laughs> Wiki, it, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 Um, Ooh, there's still nothing up here. Uh, I mean, if I had a space jump, I could check, but there's nothing. Ah, oh, speed booster time. Bendesium. Yeah, that's nice. This is because you can unbend it. Actually, I should check out those first caves that I went to. Your oh, ship is a safe point, by the way. Oh, okay. That's a good idea. I should've just jumped over. Whatever. Does it give you full health? I mean, it's your damn ship. Yes! Thank you! Totally worth it. Looking back at the courting, there was a. I think there was a room I didn't go to that was in here. That all I that all it needed was the morpho bomb. So, mm. oh, I, think <laughs> I, I think it's that that one there. This one right here. You've looked back on yourself, but oh, no. you didn't retrace your steps to get here. You went like all the way around the world. Yeah, that's cool. So what's so I guess you did um go down and then up the same tunnel in Brinstar. Yeah. Also this is the room that I didn't miss. I think it's the only one I missed too. But yeah, this one has been bothering me for a bit. Ah, oh, missile tank, thank you. Whoa, that's cool. Did you play um, Cave of Atman? Atman? Uh, yeah, we played this. Oh, yeah. oh, okay, we were there. No bro, All right, All right. Sure thing, man. Yeah, we. I, I played tested Atman. I didn't play the final version that he has on New Friends, but I did play the one um, that we were supposed to be in the meeting for, but. Um, I was occupied with other things. The improved version is indeed improved. Yeah, I remember, um... Actually, I don't remember what was wrong with the first one. I think the level- uh, the levels are different, I know that. Like... Not all of them, but there are, like, uh, pretty significant tweaks. Yeah. So it's not as... Uh, straightforward, why didn't I use speed booster?
I'm wondering, because you selected, can you just use the power bomb from a standing position? I'm gonna have to try that out. Um. Fuck. Fork. They're kind of um, protecting against emergence there by canceling your um, your bomb jump when you don't, but when you're underwater. Oh yeah, I see. Yeah, because Samus is in a giant ass, or not a giant ass, but a heavy ass suit. So yeah, it makes sense. Unlike in Mega Man, where Mega Man mysteriously jumps higher. Cause it's fun. What if there's a Mega Man game where, uh, for beating bosses, instead of getting like cool weapons and stuff, you got basic mechanics. So like there was Charge Shot Man, and then Underwater Gravity Man, and then. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you're. Isn't Underwater Gravity like an inherent quality of the level, not yourself? You also have That's not a mechanic. You also... Whenever Mega Man is underwater, there's a certain flag that gets flipped and gravity is lower. You uh. also have, um, who else do you have? I guess you could say you have a Slide Man, Rush Man. Yeah. <laughs> or no, Rush is already a power up, so. Fuck. Jump Man. Oh, wait. That's Mario. Yeah, can you beat this boss without walking, jumping, or shooting? Walking. Walk Man. <laughs> <laughs> they kind of did that with Zero in X4. Oh, yeah. Oh. Are these platforms just floating midair? Centripetal force. Um, wait, hang on, I gotta look at it again. Oh yeah, they are. Because it's alien, that's why. There's a gem inside it that allows it to resist the pull of gravity. Oh my god, it's Sonic and Neptunium. Hang on, is this the elevator? Let me see. So the act Wait. No, so you do have to go into a more ball in order to use the power bomb. Hmm. Yeah, this is the uh But can you select missiles in in more ball mode? I don't think you wait, I, I think you can. Yeah, you can. You just no, can't use them. That's annoying. Drop a missile. <laughs> we just have missiles piling up around you. Yeah. Now I have really no idea where to go. I guess. I got power bombs, so let's go back through all the areas we've been to and find the yellow doors. Ah, oh, you suck. You and your damn rocks. Your little shits, whatever they are. Oh, wow. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, it's it's so different going through it now now that I have the ice beam. Oh crap, I don't want to be here. Yeah, that's just a one-way path. 
I see another Rio, I'm gonna try something. way to kill an enemy but still fun <laughs> to an episode of Radio Lab today where uh, someone was exploring the ocean and found like a field of cotton candy that was yellow. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go with cotton candy. What the hell hit me? The door? Don't let the door hit you on the way out. <laughs> Shut up. So that's interesting that they could block your normal beam but not your ice beam. Cold. Can you block ice? <laughs> you can block Not ice. well. The bees are kind of crustacean in appearance, so it makes sense that they can't. Oh fuck, why'd I do that? Tolerate sub zero temperatures. Oh god, this is way this is new. Don't so yeah, this is one of the uh, yeah, I, I remember in this recording too, this is one of the other areas I missed. Ah. Oh, Crave's dead. We got four. A shrine. <laughs> Come Look on. Look at really perched up there. There's really nothing with those rocks? Oh well. And Ridley's on the top, of course. I don't know who those other two are. Uh, that's Phil and uh, Carl. <laughs> which is which? Uh, Phil was the one in the middle. Oh. oh, you can stand on those, jeez. Hang on. Try um, using a super missile. I think I did that before. Wait. You sure? I sure it wasn't just a regular oh, missile? Yeah. No. No, that was a super How about using a power bomb? Oh, yeah. Let's do that. Mm. How about using all those, those gray zoomers? <laughs> Wait, I think you already killed them. Yeah, I killed them. At least one of them. I think so. Where was it? Super missile. Let me see. I think it was off screen. Oh, okay. Whoa, he ate a super missile. Yeah. Also, you can stand on these things. Don't mind me. I don't think they appreciate that. I don't think they mind. I don't think they know. No what? Hey, you're standing on them. I think Stamus is standing on me right now, but I can't tell. Isn't she kind of heavy? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I love the music to this area. Yeah, I, 
this is this is an area where I didn't do my whole check the high areas first because and it, and it really bothered me because in the recording because that's why. So I probably missed the first one. What? As I recall, you didn't have enough missiles to do so. Yeah, but that's why when I didn't go back and I kept finding the right way forward, uh. I was never able to get a chance to check back here. So I'm probably gonna get some more missiles. No, it's a map. Fuck your map. <laughs> <laughs> Did you use the uh, hit system in Metroid Prime? Uh, no. I avoided it. I think the first time, you know, when I was a kid and I first got it, maybe I might have. I don't even remember. But for the most part, I ignored it, or because you have to push start and look at the map to actually see and actually, like, look for the hint, I was probably too lazy to do that, too. Oh yeah, most people find that map hard to read. I don't. Yeah, I think it works well enough. Yeah. The thing is that, um, whereas maps in Metroid are, like, really vertically oriented, the ones in- oh, Where there's a lot of jumping and there's more of a y-axis to them, in Metroid Prime, there's a lot more of- They're not as spaghetti-like. Like, you're not going up and down and up and around or whatever. It's a lot more horizontal and forward Yeah. Things. There's very little verticality to them. Yeah. I mean, they still have you platforming around and shit, but... Oh, I gotta run through that. But it's not quite to the extent that they have it in um, these Metroids. Because they don't, they don't have a Z-axis. So yeah, this is... <laughs> Although, even without a Z-axis, most people would say that, uh, Super Metroid has depth. <laughs> uh, what is this? I found something. Hmm. What? Reserve tank? Right, so when you're in trouble, you can, uh, press the X button and it pulls in a special tank from the reserves. And, uh, he comes in and blows up the balls. <laughs> oh crap. Oh. Wow, look at him go. <laughs> what is going yeah, on? Yeah, that's a. Uh, I'm not gonna ask what they're doing. Oh! That's cool. I, I is smart, I find secrets. So that's something this game does, and I think Metroid 2 did a little bit of, is uh, like trapping you and then forcing you to find the exit, and it's not always about a power-up. Yeah, whoa! Super, wait, I thought I already had super missiles. There's two of them? Or you just get more? Oh yeah, They're I have like Yeah, so I get more. So... If you can do the mock ball, you can get this super missile and then just skip sports Whoa! Oh, that's cool. That's what cool people do because sports spawn sucks. <laughs> you know, he's actually the only one I beat on my first try. The only boss. Er, we'll see about boss. that. Well, you only fought two so far, right? Mm -hmm. Or I guess fought was... the Chozo thing. What is it called? Terizo. Terizo. So I fought Terizo and the Sports Bomb, and then I and Kraid. Yeah. yeah. And now I gotta find out the other four leaders. No, I have to go up. Stick up. Oh. A depth first search. Depth was the y axis, I guess. Well, I mean, like, a, as a programming reference. Oh. I actually don't know what that is. 
Uh, so, you know what a tree is? Kind of. I guess I will try to explain it while you're playing Super Metroid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is this? Is this just a missile recharge? Yeah, it is. Thank you. But only the missiles. Power bombs. Yeah, you still gotta get them on your own. And I think that's all what this area is. I'll come back to that later. Oh, power bombs. Oh yeah, now I remember this is so this is the new area you have to get to. Okay, I think I found the right way, so you know what? Let's go back to the cotton candy farms. Damn! <laughs> I'm so shooting you. I think that actually kills him in one hit when you do that. Or wait. Never mind, just one. I love how they do this. Oh! Fuck! <laughs> uh, yes, I love how they do that. <laughs> What? What the fuck? It's an ostrich. Get back here, you motherfucker. What the fuck? What the hell did he just do? He just fucking jetpacked off the... Get back here. Hang on, let me... Can I do that? I wanna see. He jumped, but... What is this? It's not a map, it's a... What is That's it? health. That's health? Oh, yeah. I have half full health, so whatever. It's crazy fuck. Oh, I have to do it to get out of here, so... I think it's trying to teach me a new trick. You can't teach them snamish new tricks. Oh, I almost had it. Is there a name for this thing he's doing? Yes. Yeah. Now, hang on, he stopped. Let me see how he does it again. Come back here, you piece of shit. I thought this was an enemy, so he runs, 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 he runs. He, runs. he stops, he crouches, and then goes up. Okay, let's try that out. This is cool. Fuck. What are you doing, Samus? <laughs> There we go, yeah! Holy shit! That was cool. Look at your energy. My energy? Whoa, what happened to it? It <laughs> uses my energy to do that? Or is it because I hit my head in the ceiling really hard? Oh, you can freeze those things. But only freeze them. So what do you think of that section? Did you get that on your first try? Yeah, that was, um... I thought it was, like, surprisingly easy to understand what they were trying to get across. Mm -hmm. That sort of stuff usually goes right over my head. It was a signpost. <laughs> Was it really a tutorial or a, or some um, text? It, it, it kind of, see to me that is more of an example of a tut tutorial because I remember Greg said this in the recording and I thought he had a point where it's like 
forcing the players to do things to like get out of situation is more like a test than it is really you know, a teaching, so to speak. But there, I mean, he, he was kind of like actually showing me, like performing a demonstration. So that's a more, that's a better example of teaching. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, because I mean, it's not like, you know, in the beginning of the game where you have to. I think when a bird is teaching you, it's just infinitely better. <laughs> is this where the spawn thing is? I, I, I remember. I think it is. Yes, oh my god, look out! <laughs> <laughs> so the thing I said that about, um, I was thinking about that in reaction to a guy who was uh, doing an LP of Terranigma. And he said the first chapter was a tutorial. And at the time, I thought he was full of uh, crap. Full of shit, yeah, that's not a tutorial in any meaning of the word. What is it teaching well, you? After having played a all of chapter two and a decent part of chapter three, I think I see what he means. Uh, where, like, the game is not a progression of uh, advancing puzzles and combat challenges. And those are skills you need to get through the game, but that's not how the game is paced. But that is how the first chapter is paced. So I think the first chapter is just like giving you the tools you will need to overcome uh, whatever challenges happen later in the game. But it's not like it's setting the standard for what gameplay will be. You know what I mean? I missed? Oh. I think so. Oh, also, um... See this section right here? I guess you could say, like, this is an example of what I think Are you saying... isn't Go ahead. Really, like teaching because what this this area right here is supposed to get you to do is learn how to, to jump and then shoot the missile because otherwise, if I shoot, I just hit. The, I shoot yeah. all of, across the other side of the screen. Okay, that's weird. Not, well, not if you use a super missile, but also you can duck. Yeah. Or crouch. So yeah, so like, it's it's testing you to learn how to shoot like one tile above where Samus's arm cannon rests. But it's not exactly like teaching you because you're doing it yourself. I guess I like the word test more than teach. It's introducing it. Yeah. But yeah, what it, 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 the thing with the Terra Enigma? Oh, there's the yellow door they've tapped into. Is that it doesn't really seem like teaching. I, I don't I forgot what was the conclusion you came to on that. If it was teaching or not, if it just was serving as an introduction and that's why they called it a tutorial. Fuck. I would argue. What do you mean by setting the standard of gameplay? So, um the first chapter is paced by like different platforming and combat and uh, puzzle challenges and it develops those uh, like <laughs> oh, oh that was you and that balloon was trying to strain himself doing something <laughs> brain muscle trying to explain this um, where Oh man, you made it! Yay! Nice. I feel you didn't like even need to get guy. the Phillips head power up. Um, mm -hmm. like, it's a, an advancing ebb and flow of puzzle and combat challenges, whereas uh, Chapter Two just has like no regard for the progression of either one of those. Uh, the progression of Chapter Two has nothing to do like. You will need to solve puzzles to get through Chapter 2, but if you look at the uh, course of puzzles over Chapter 2 as a whole, it's just nonsense. Mm -hmm. So, um, it's more... The chapter 1 is more just giving you the skills that you will need to solve puzzles in general, uh, but it's not an introduction to how the game is structured. And that's... So, bringing it back to what you thought the up here said, that's what you think he meant when he called it a tutorial? I don't know. I, I 
or he could I don't know if that's the concept he was getting at, but that's the lit light under which I can understand mm -hmm. that opinion. Okay. But if it if that wasn't what he meant, then it's... He, if he's just conflating tutorial with introduction, then mm -hmm. whatever. I mean, that's like saying, you know, 1-1 one, one in Mario's a tutorial, like that one video we saw, that would just be kind of weird. Extra credits! Oh wait, I probably shouldn't be naming names on your channel. I don't care, who the fuck is gonna watch this? Oh, god damn. Damn! Well, good point, we got blacklisted. It's a family. You yeah. just killed the entire family. <laughs> Why are there spikes under that floor? Who's gonna hit that? Um. I am. Um. That's because there's probably. If you're really curious, if it's like, hey, these must be bombable, otherwise I couldn't hit them. Yeah. Get, or get hit by them. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking they. Mm. You know what? Mm. I probably needed to freeze them and get up there. Oh. It's, it's, no, wait, you can't freeze them, that's the problem. So. There was a Phillips head up there. You need the screwdriver beam. Also, the game has some slowdown in this area. When, when there's three of them hopping at you at once. I blame the spikes. <laughs> Whoa. Where are you going? Okay. Strange room. Big walls, big walls, mate. Hang on. Yeah! Oh, man! Oh. Whoa! Look at you. Pro strats. Fuck, the thing is closed, though. Yep. Oh. Can you shoot it through the gate? Way to kill my ride. Jump up there too, or I can use this chest. It's a bit hard. Oh, okay, yeah, let's not do that. <laughs> I'm a quitter. Also, um, hang on, I did this wrong. One way you probably could have anticipated that before is notice how the screen is a bit lower. Mm -hmm. Or, like, is watch, it? watch what happens when I go to the other side. Notice that bottom section there with the color? Kind of yeah. already being an indicator itself. Now when I go on the other side... Mm -hmm. Oh wait, you can still see it. Okay, I'll just... Wait, what do you mean, color? There was like a light in motion at the bottom. Oh. oh, you can freeze them. But I still couldn't get up there anyways. Or, wait, hang on, let me check this. How's this door here? Because I know that that cotton candy is where the big hub is. By the way, just just keeping in mind, I do know where the right way is. I'm just choosing not to go there. Mm -hmm. How do you know? Because I made a mental note of it. Oh. And yeah, I already know where this goes, so let's not do that. Let's go back. Oh, got one in on me. Well, it's only been an hour and a half, although my progress is arguable. 
Yeah, it no, turns out. Bombs. <laughs> it turns out the uh, the recording last. Oh fuck! <laughs> I was waiting for that. Oh, you can't choose through the gate. Uh, maybe power bomb will activate it, please. Suck! Shit! <laughs> Gotta go all the way. Around. You know what? This is when I would use the map and see if there is another way. And I'm gonna. Oh fuck! That's not the map. That's not the map either. Map bombs. <laughs> map missiles. And it turns out no, there isn't. <clears throat> so I have to go up, left, up. Okay. Minor setback. <laughs> Shit. Oops. Oh my god. What am I doing? Get on him. <laughs> Hmm, oh man. Oh, it could have gotten that. Favorite room. They're all excited to see you or smell you. Ah, oh, shit, shitty balls. the music in this area. Yeah, it's nice and kind of soothing, I guess. Oh, you can freeze the big ones. It's just like on like their last hit. Can you freeze them? This is the troll room. I'm getting out of here. Yeah, you have to. <laughs> need to get rid of an, an enemy's HP before you can freeze them. I wasn't gonna say it. Say what? You have to get rid of an enemy's HP to freeze them. Yeah, no. In Metroid 1, it was freeze and hit, freeze and hit, freeze and hit, so it actually took twice as many shots as kill things. Oh. But it sounds easier if you just wanna freeze them. Yeah, but if you like panic fire, then you'll have a nasty habit of freezing and then unfreezing enemies with multiple health. Uh oh. So yeah, gotta be careful with that. <clears throat> oh wait, this is I used to use the speed booster. Okay.
Reapers. where you want to go if you want to get to the final section. It's still Turian, right? Yeah, yeah. Turian. Okay. Change the name, because this is still... Seems. Is that this? Not a new Turian. Newtopia? Hmm. Oh, we should have played that instead of Terranigma. Newtopia? What's Newtopia? Uh, Turbo Graphics? Zelda? You talk about the Turbo Graphics so much. <laughs> it's a good console. <laughs> that no one outside of Japan really played much of. Well, that's why you got a virtual console. That is true. So yeah, the bottom of this room here is where I know I need to go. And you know what? Let's just What's... go there. Mm. What's the point of playing um, Turbo Graphics if you don't have Keith Courage? Uh, to have fun. <laughs> to not want to like <laughs> gouge your eyes out from how painful Keith Courage is. How painful is Keith Courage? Pretty. Pretty painful. It's it's doing that great out there. Yeah, the, the great outdoor. So either I need to kill all the enemies, or it's that thing with Kray where it only comes up after I kill them. What the fuck? What was I supposed to do about that? Oh. Metroid. Yeah, you're supposed to Metroid. Gotcha. Yeah. Metroid is a color too. Oh, this room. This, this is, is the, Yeah, it's from Creed's lair. Or no, it's from Ridley's lair. What am I talking about? Oh god, Ridley. Fuck! This is the same thing! <laughs> oh no. Remember that? Yeah. <sighs> Get the fuck right. away from me. Hang on. Come here. Come here. I just want to get closer. Closer. Closer, my child. It's kind of cute. In a weird kind of way. Aha! There's a door there, but I want to go this way. Yeah, those pretty much act like identical to um, Zeps, so I don't know what those things are though. I don't even remember if they are in the first Metroid. The uh, grabby eyes? Yeah, grasshopper thingies. Nah, there's not in the first one. Those are too complex. <laughs> oh god. Here we go. Ah. Mm. Ah. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Fuck. Oh damn it. Do that. Mm. Tiny hops. You. Oh, how did you get down there? <laughs> so that's what I use in my craft beers. Oh. Tiny hops. When you craft a beer. Yeah. Like in Minecraft. There we go. Alright. Maybe not. <sighs> Alright! Welcome to hell. Oh. Yeah, welcome to the next hour of your life. Why do you say that? Oh no! No! <laughs> no! How tall is this fucking thing? Fuck. As tall as like three map units, maybe. I'm playing this in my college dorm for the first time, and one of my roommates comes by and is like, "Why don't you just do what they're doing?" <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking hard, man. This to give you platforms yeah, that you can great. rest on. 
I remember there's a stupid ass hit See. in the first Metroid that they don't give you any platforms and you're supposed to like please jump your way out of. And there's nothing in it too. Mm. Oh. This is the hardest part. What are you talking about? Oh, it's in just the... it's the spider ball. Yeah, where's God. the spider ball? I missed that last oh game. man, so close. You're doing a lot better than most people who first encounter this. <laughs> but I guess it's because you already know about wall jumping. Fuck. And you know kind of how to do it already. So... Fuck! It's, uh, I, I think there is value to the wall jump being so hard to do. I agree. What would you say that value is? It's a cool thing to do. And because it's so hard, it's all the, all the more rewarding. It's an accomplishment ah! to learn how to perform this, yeah, uh... This? Mm -hmm. Like, really specific maneuver. Yeah. I think it's valuable because, um... Oh good, I didn't need to go all the way up, thank god. <clears throat> There it, it is locks. again, that bullshit. Did it allows you to approach room? the map in new ways. Mm -hmm. There's that. I think that's what makes it cool, though. That, well, that's one of the things that makes it cool. Yeah. And uh, if it was like readily apparent how to do it, then the sequence breaks that it allows for, everybody would just do them. Mm -hmm. Their first time through. Exactly. Yeah. Are you trying to get that energy tank? Where's your holy water? Yeah, that's my holy water. Okay, so we're looking at a three block. I don't get it. Gap. All right. Uh, Is that a reference to um, like Castlevania or something? Castlevania two. I jumped. <laughs> oh, I pushed X. Uh, it was. Wait, why don't you try wall jumping? I could. I ah. Uh, first, let me. Um. Uh, all right. Want to? I mean, no, I, it's it's not that high, but yeah. Also, I agree with what you're saying about the uh, the wall jumping. I mean, I maybe they could make it not so frame tight, but I think the fact that Samus doesn't automatically go into like a really obvious like wall cling animation like in Mega Man. Or anything, there's, you know, like you say, there's value to that. So it's just kind of. This is the oh. kind of thing that I like, uh, yeah, there's a crumble block there that you fell through. No, 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 what I mean is, see this block here? That one's solid and I hit my head on it, but these two on the left, oh wait, are they all solid? They're crumble blocks you fell through. Oh yeah, that's right, that's right. Um, this is the kind of thing I like asking Richard about because he always gives me an answer that's hard to swallow and then I have to learn how to sleep at night. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say about this? No, just like, uh, in general, I like challenging my opinions against him because, uh, he comes up with really good points. Oh. And uh, the more ornery the opinion, the better, because, uh, yeah, I like uh, his challenge of my appreciation of the, like, wacky map design in Metroid. Like, that's really hard to argue against, his opinion on it. Uh, wacky map design? How it tries to frustrate the player, rather than facilitate gameplay. Oh. Well, I wouldn't frame it like that, that it's trying to frustrate the player. What did he say about that, though? I mean, I can... Because, I mean... <laughs> I can't see the problems that that map can break in the first Metroid. There we go. So, um... To be... Uh, the real answer is, I should have written it down so that I would remember it later. <laughs> but the gist of it was like, uh... Damn it. That it's hard to find value in 
uh, being frustrated, like uh, obfuscating, just oh. for the sake of obfuscation. You know, Starseed Pilgrim was kind of like that. Yeah. You did it. Yeah, and they went in there. I, I guess I can't go there because like, it's like impossible. Um. Well. It's impossible as you make it. So that's what the grayed out room was for. Uh oh. Still want that energy tank, huh? Oh my god. <laughs> Man, these are annoying. I don't, I don't think I remember these guys being as annoying as you're. Gotcha. As frustrated with them. The only thing is annoying is that they're so close to the door that one of them, like, in, like near instantly latches on it. We're doing all this for just one energy tank, too, so that's kind of... This isn't even the right way to go. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's three blocks. Oh, fuck! Why don't you try a uh, speed boost? I don't think there's enough space. Or maybe there is. Can it go over three block gaps? Not if you're running. You can't run over a one block gap. No. Can I, can I, I, I was thinking about jumping it as you're doing the speed boost. Well, can I use the jump? It, well, wait, it only jumps up, but can I use it to jump forward? So... You do. The speed boost, right? Um... No, it's the shine spark. I was talking about the shine spark. I could be. I was talking about just. Shit. Get off. I was talking about just just going really fast and this person to jump on. What the fuck? Get off. There we go. Mm -hmm. Die. <sighs> Eat. What the fuck? The thing about falling in lava is that it doesn't screw up your controls. Whereas uh, when you fall in spikes, you suffer knockback. Yeah. Samus is a bit more... <laughs> Yeah, even then, to to get out of here, you only need to do one wall jump. Nope, I don't even need to do one. Ah, yay! No, that that one wall jump you did. Oh. To get onto that platform, that's what I was talking about. Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. So this is actually is not the right way, so I still have to find out where the other guys are. We'll see. Oh, you thought this was the right way. Yeah, it was just for an energy tank that I did not get, so... Oh, well, actually... yeah. It's kind of the story with Super Metroid's map design, that, uh... It is, like, subtle and rich, but also, uh... When you're looking for the way forward, there sure are a lot of places that seem like the right way that aren't. Mm -hmm. What if you were playing Shantae? Is that the way forward? Uh, <laughs> I get it! It's so often that I don't get the jokes you guys make. Yeah, I should play Shantae someday. You wanna make that like the small time game or something? Oh, man. Another adventure game right after Terranigma oh. might not be a good idea. Is it an adventure yeah. game? I thought it was a platformer. It's an adventure platformer. Like in the vein of Wonder Boy or uh, I guess Zelda 2. Oh wait, okay, just stop. It's a Zelda vein, yeah. Crouch, that's right, crouch. We're gonna play Doom 2. I wish we could play Doom 2, but I don't think we'll get the uh we'll get the votes. Oh, I wanna play Doom 2. Huh. So what are we going to end up playing? 
That's weird. It'd be much more feasible. Uh, in theory. Yeah. Also, I'm probably gonna have to edit all that out because uh, it's not something I like. Yeah. Fuck! Oh, there you oh, go. You yeah. can go forward. Yeah, it's uh, whatever direction you're holding after she pauses in midair. Woo! That's so much easier. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. The Michael Jackson yell there. Ma Michael Jackson moonwalker. Oh, yeah. You can moonwalk. Yeah. So, that's something retarded about this emulator is that you have to actually. It's, it's an actual toggle. You have ah. to toggle it to allow diagonal movement. So, I don't know why, but. That's what they did. I don't know X either. Maybe it's that. Or wait, no, I already saw time you can't go to it. So. It's gotta be somewhere. Ah, shit. Damn it. Hmm. Actually, I got an idea. I remember there was one area with, like, this tank and water that was in the green section, I believe. So I'm gonna try to powerbomb that because there's a moment like that in Metro Prime. I just don't remember where it is. <laughs> I can get through this. At least I can get through it this time. Yeah. Ah, I blocked the bird. Try to remember. I think it was an area connecting. Yeah, to Craig. So that means. drinking mm -hmm. seltzer <laughs> hmm where do you think the next area is 
Uh, do you know what? I have. It's it's the area with the um, I think it's the little tube that's connecting to um with the water tank. I think I can blow that up with a power bomb because there's a moment in Metroid Prime where you have to do that. But the problem is I don't remember where it is. I'm hoping it's this way. I think so. It should be this way. <laughs> this way, please be this way. Oh, it's not. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, hang on, there's a door there that I haven't been... Dang, God damn you. So yeah, I think I found the way now. Wow. Get off. Why isn't he coming off? I think it's because you have to... Uh... Yeah, you have to bomb him from the side. Yeah. Because you keep jumping. From the bomb's explosion. How do I get there? Hang on. Okay, no, it's not just a high jump. Which means you're just gonna get over here. Oh, there we go. I found it! Oh. Oh, it did need health. Yeah, I did. I think. A is burned. Oh, not even the high jump can deal with that. You know what? Let me just look at the map. So, Brinstar! This is Brinstar. And there's an X. Oh, that means Crane's dead. So, zoom out. Oh, I can't zoom out? What do you think this is, Mode 7? <laughs> oh boy. I finally got lost in Super Metroid. Uh, is there a point at which you would, you would uh, give up and lose the map? Uh, I just did, and it doesn't seem like Brinstar is the right area that much I could figure out of it. Hang on. I could just jump all the way back up there. So you didn't see anything in Brinstar you could do? Well, let's go back through these rooms, because I didn't have the power bomb the first time I was here, so... And I guess it's kind of weird that the ice beam doesn't work on water. Yeah. I remember Green how... seals with cold breath can work on water, and it has to be lava. Uh, someone hasn't played Majora's Mask. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. That you can do that in Majora's yeah. Mask. You got the ice rods in Majora's Mask. You know, the ice arrow. I mean. Yeah. yeah. In fact, that's all you get out of dungeons are arrows. Every other item you yeah. get out at some point in the overworld. Yeah, that, that was one thing I never got about. Where, where do you get the ice that. dungeon then? Where, where do you get the ice arrows? Oh, it's in the, uh, no, it's no head. It's the Great, Great Bay. Bay Temple, yeah. Oh. Maybe it's, it's... Fire arrows are in Snowhead? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, um. I guess there's a. Oh, here it is! I found it! Yes! What? It didn't work! Shit, you were my... 
Fuck. <laughs> All you had to do was shoot it. Oh my no, god. You do have to power bomb it. Oh, okay. I got one. <laughs> Still pretty amazing, though. What happened? He uh, he just power bombed the new tube, except oh. it didn't blow up until he moved. All right, until I shot it. <laughs> Hang on, I'm trying to do a wall jump. Oh, it's so it's a lot slower, so you can actually see the frame. Oh wait, whatever. I'm probably gonna get the uh, gravity suit here. What? Earth? Uh, uh. I I don't know. I'm not gonna give that one to you. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. oh, shit. No. Yeah, this is unbelievably hard. Well, can this you is do it surprisingly hard to do. I believe you can. Yeah, oh, I recall being able to do it. Is am I doing a sequence break? Because yeah, the difficulty of this. Oh, I am. Uh, yeah, what? that sequence break is actually a lot harder than what you're seeing right there. Um, the <laughs> the challenges upcoming are greater than this wall jump. Yeah, than this wall jump. I didn't even need to wall jump. All I had to do was do this rolling jump forward long enough so I could get through it. But who cares? I'm sequence breaking on my own. I don't care. I found it fair and square. I hope I don't come to regret that. Oh, you son of a bitch. Die. There we go. Oh, I actually had it. But whatever. Let's go this way. around like it's ice. It's almost ice. Yeah, I mean, I guess, uh, you know, there's a different temperature. But you're also shooting the ice from everywhere. You get out of there. I, uh... I think we need just to get a list of all the times they have enemies crawling in and out of hidden passageways. Ooh, it's close. Run! Uh, there was that one time in Terra Enigma. Holy crap. There was in Terra Enigma? Yeah. Remember in Lorraine? Lorraine? Oh yeah, the, except the zombies, they, they're not actually enemies because you can walk into them and they don't hurt you. Oh. Okay. I guess it's the same basic idea. You see a non-U object going through an invisible passageway. Mm -hmm. Everyone's favorite Super Metroid asset, the sand. Fuck. Can you get out? I don't even know. I got out earlier, but it's like, I don't... You need to be really good at mashing. I think. Uh, oops. 
Maybe it's more than mashing. Fuck. Oh. I regret coming here. Ah, uh, is this really how it ends? I hope not. So yeah, this is not the right <laughs> Can you way. All jump out? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang no. on. For some reason. Um, are you running? Wait, hang on. I can't get through this. It's just Okay. If I running jump that, I can make it. No. Yeah. So I don't know what I was doing. Or I do know what I was doing, but I was playing like an idiot. Yeah, I don't think you can make it. You can't. Are you running? Let me try running, yeah. Damn! Why are you gonna run start? You're jumping from the far edge. Oh, holy crap. Why don't you jump from that the nearer edge? Yeah. I'm going to. Hang on, you gotta. Like that. So, okay. Got my X button all down. Okay. Greg? I believe so. Um. It's gonna. Wait. This is. This the is your way out. Oh, wait, no, this isn't your way out. Never mind. But I do believe this is feasible. You keep jumping from the far edge, though. There you go. Mm. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, wait, it's because of the sand. I don't, yeah. I don't know. It might be better to turn back, actually. Okay. Yeah, let's get out of here. It's not worth it. Boy, he's fast. Unless you want to try wall jumping. Nope. How are, why are they so much faster now? Because they're underwater. They're also a different color. Oh. Are they? They're kind of yeah. Slow. See how slow that one was? They're different. Oh, see. They have Samus's palette. Oh, fork. Well, you can't go this way. Unless you glitch. Hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Is your name Crab? On the weekends. Oh, oh I don't know. Weekends. Stinking map. <laughs> you were just consulting the map. Uh, shut up. <laughs> Oh, thank God. Hang on, I haven't been here before. Whoops. Okay, there's nothing down there. Okay. Oh, you have to come from here, okay. The green door kept me out anyway, so yeah. Oh yeah, crate's lair is this way, so yeah, crate's lair is that way. What's in crate? 
you want? Nothing. I'm trying to find a way out, so I'm gonna use the map to see this area here. Which is this criteria? No, this is Norfair. Oh yeah, Norfair. Okay, is there anything in Norfair I haven't been to? Mm. No. But um, I think you maybe don't. So, uh, there is something here. The, just a matter of like map legibility. Um, then I will search the area. It's. Do you mind me saying about something about reading the map? No. Of looking at the map? Because I'm gonna end up looking and recording with you hearing this, and then I'm gonna figure it out. <laughs> so I'd rather okay. keep it a mystery until then. <laughs> I've already given it away. Yep. Hello, future agent. Hello, past Greg. This is a cool room. Oh, it's pretty hot to me. <laughs> uh, it's a dad joke for you. Middle-aged men with no sense of humor tell that joke. Don't they have that in Japan? Uh, what? Middle-aged men with no sense of humor? Yeah. I think they have uh, that. Yeah, I think that, that type of humor. But like, as a special, like, specific type of humor? Yes. Huh. It's called Dajare. Uh -huh. Dajare. Although, I guess that's more wordplay than just general corny humor. I'm actually gonna consult the map at the save station on the other side. Yes! Hate you what? guys. Uh, you can freeze these, the dragons. Yeah. The lava horses. The Seedras. The Kingdra. That's a Pokemon. It is. The King of Draws. What's a draw? Thankfully, they don't do that crap where they hit you in the, the door. Ah, oh, you punk. Give me your health. Man. Ready for help? But, I can save. Oh, I could have used them to get up there. Alright, I know exactly where I need to go. Come here. There you are, you're my best friend. Yeah! Oh! Man. Oh man. That was so close. Hang on, I can do this. You may have reset his height to be lower. That's what it looks like, right? Oh. No. Huh. I think there's two of them. Oh. Shit, I oh, there's two of them. There are two of them. Mm -hmm. I don't care if I die because I'm so close. Where are you? Whatever, I'll reset the room. You should try resetting it. You try wall jumping onto that when you get up to that ledge. Yeah. Oh wait. Ah. Oh nice. There you go. 
Nope. Oh. Hey, it's taking a bath. Yet, I didn't realize it was in the platform. Maybe. But yeah, oh my god. It's only missiles. I'm gonna find them. And the lava. I need to go back and save. Went away. Don't be fooled. I'm still there. I got layer 3. Do you know all the layers of the Super Nintendo? Oh, Watch out. Fuck. Oh, I have an auto. Oh, your reserve tape saved you. Thank God I got it. That's an optional item, right? Yes. Yes. So I'm glad well, I yeah. I, feel good that I, I mean, it. technically, every a lot of things are optional in this game because of sequence breaking. Yeah, but. Get up where? Oh, I should have ran. I should have used fish. Where'd he go? Oh, by the way, you can actually aim diagonal with the D-pad itself. You don't have to hold R, that's just yeah. for stationary. Yeah, I've never had much success with the D-pad aiming diagonal though. Look, I I could have see oh wait, oh. I didn't have the ice boom, so I couldn't see this break that earlier. Yeah. This so this is um Yes. Hmm. Looks like you were already here, though. Oh, it, that's right, it was up. Zoom in at the speed booster. Yay, a grand fight. Just gonna do a little bit. Give me energy. Oh, you did. Okay. Okay, that's enough. I got three energy tanks. Oh, crap. Oh, right. I remember. <laughs> this is what I wanted to check the first time, though, so that's perfect. Oh, the long is gone. Yeah, so there. Oh god, I did it again. So what I was looking for was the um, inside these individual pits themselves, uh. because they have enemies in them, and I couldn't check that the first time. There was a Garuda in here. So is there anything here? I guess not. How about here? How about here? Huh. I guess not. Okay, that was a bad idea. It's weird those spikes are there to prevent you from jumping. Yeah. You have to run. Yeah, the lava doesn't come up this time. So huh. it only does not have to calm down. But I checked I checked the floors with the Garudas in them and there was nothing, so It would have been a nice place to keep secrets. Yeah, it would have. I don't know. I think that would be... Like, uh, Metroid 2 had certain rules about where it kept secrets so as to not have you spider-balling every friggin' inch of the wall. Yeah. And I think uh, hiding secrets there might have been the same sort of jerkishness. Yeah, that's... Like, what purposely rules limiting your design space. Yeah. So as to not, you know, do things that kind of 
are annoying. Like, you can have a design space with enemies that are super cheap, but it's not a good idea to me. Have I been here? I don't think I have. That isn't doing anything. Hang on, let me try green. That's nothing. What is, what's going on? Whoa! Oh, shit. Ah. This is a big room. Oh, it's grappled hooking. Grappled hooking. I mean. No look pee hats. <laughs> Yeah, there are pea hats, and it'll do, except they don't work like pea hats. Well, it'll do is just sell though, but not. I, I think it's more like Adventures of Lolo with the Zelda world. Like, that's mo what you might have wanted from uh, the Eggerland MSX game you played, where you were looking for consistency. Oh, hmm. interesting. Uh, yeah, because It'll Do is really centered on that, like, single room puzzle sort of thing, like in, uh, Adventures of Lolo. So, that... What about Eggerland? Making mental note that that is the next area I need to... That's an area I need to get to if I find the power for it. There's actually no power in the game that helps you in that area. It's just a... It's just a tease. <laughs> You're killing yourself, man. Shit. I didn't talk. There's a section like this in Wario's Castle in Super Mario Land, too. Oh, yeah. It's true. Except the platforms don't shrink, do they? No. Oh, shit. Hang on a minute. Knock, knock. So, Shadi, what do you want to say to get into Adrian's recording? That would be really embarrassing for him. I don't want to embarrass him. Um. Uh, I don't know what would embarrass him. Yeah, I, that's. I mean, this is not the kind of thing I've asked him before. Maybe I should have in preparation. Fuck, I didn't beat my mic. <laughs> <laughs> no, we didn't hear anything. Me neither. Could you I heard, like, indiscriminate... Blah, 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 blah. But no, like, words. Wah, 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 wah. Yeah, it was basically Charlie Brown. <laughs> you didn't even tip that guy for using his head. <laughs> oh, you can freeze them! Yep. They were in the hallway before you got the ice beam, but not after. Before and after. No, only before. Oh shit. Okay, yeah, you can't... Oh, okay. I wonder what their body is like. Probably like... Um, oh, actually, like... well, I don't know. Uh, you you played by the room, Colin? Yeah, they're in another end. Um, um, um. Wait, who's wait? Have you played other room, Adrian? Nope. It's. Do you want to? Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't say anything more. I'm not gonna say anything. I'll I'll, I'll tell you when I text chat, Colin. Consult the map again. Those are blanked out because I can't reach. Mm. Ah, I ducked under. Oh, the multi violas, they work weird in this game. They have like a sort of homing problem. So they don't like yeah. constantly. They don't necessarily ricochet. Yeah, they don't. 
they don't ricochet at a 45 degree angle. Yeah, so. they don't like DVD screensavers. <laughs> yeah, so they're more like... I don't know why I'm going down here. <clears throat> Skill shots. Shit. Either they don't take a lot of hits, or they're programmed to like freeze in one shots, like those weird eel head things. Is there a name for those? Yeah, there is. What is it? What um, are those called? Can't remember off the top of my head. Moto bug. Um, I think it's wrong. Moto bug. Find the way I am going to say. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, because I'm, I, I've actually been recording for two and a half hours, so. Yeah. I mean, I did that with Metroid too, but hopefully it won't go. Oh, they're called. Those wall things are called Nami Haze. No, wait. No, wait, I'm wrong. I'm not calling that. They're called Funes. A what? They're called Funes. Funes, okay. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, hang on. Do we have health? Actually, there should be a save down here, so... Yeah, this one. Also, I noticed that an easy way to tell where to go when it comes to the power bomb doors is that you don't you don't have to blow them up more than once. See, now it's a blue door. Mhm. Mm well, oh, I think it'd be kind of excessive. Fork. Wait, oh. don't you have, don't you only have to use one super missile on a super missile door? No, you you have to keep using it. All right. I'll uh, I'm sorry. Wait. Yeah, isn't it? One oh super missile? shit! There's a lot I can oh, right. do. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That fucking room down there. What? You. You. Yeah. What are you? Oh, that's why. Oh, well. Okay, so that explains why I haven't explored that section. So, what else have I known? Wait, that left section there. <laughs> How did you trick me? And I already hear Greg clicking his tongue like, God damn it. <laughs> that was you? I'm afraid so. More of uh. Tis, tis, don't eat shit. Oh, crap. Oh, actually, now I remember what this is. I mean, I was just clicking my tongue for fun, but, uh. Oh. Yeah. I just remembered this. Yeah, I remember this too. That's why you gotta check everything. You remembered what? That these were hamburger blocks. Damn. 
who went right under the line of fire into my dead zone. Oh, dead zone. That's a good name for a shmup. Mm -hmm. I think it's a big game. Unless, not, and I don't mean Dragon Ball Z dead zone. A Dragon Ball Z shmup. What? Like the <laughs> Did you see the one falling with me? Yeah. They enjoyed it too. Can you hear them giggling? I'm sure it was better for me than it was for them. I think they enjoyed themselves. Oh. I would say, uh. Damn. Okay. They enjoy it up until I kill them. Yeah, that seems like a good time to stop enjoying it. I think it's kind of mandatory to stop enjoying things when you're dead. M mandatory, I guess, is one way to put it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. I look at this. Against some real shit here. Damn. God damn it, the mess this... spoils everything. Well, it is important to know that before you die. Um... Yeah, it's important to know there's a save point there. You know what? I'm thinking, when was the last time I saved? Because well, I... if you can't remember, then it's a bad idea. It's not to go on without saving. No pain, no gain. No pain, no gain. No pain, no game. Uh oh. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> That's why you look before you leap. Looks like you can't leave at all. <laughs> oh. Ah, I see what you need to do. Oh, is that? I don't. You use the grapple beam to swing over this gap and then get the missile tank. Oh. I didn't really figure out that those Phillips heads are grapple beams. I didn't. The demo oh, did, before I started playing showed me. Yeah. Well, what else were they supposed to be? Need the screwdriver beam for it. The screw attack, you mean? Oh, that's not a beam. <laughs> what? So, <laughs> it has the word screw Wait, so it. it's, it's not called a grapple beam in this game? It's called a screwdriver beam? No. It... <laughs> It's called the grapple beam. He's being shouty. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that sounds like a cool name for a beam. <laughs> that sounds pretty dumb. Oh. Do you want one to make a game where there's a screwdriver beam? Oh, gotta go up. Yeah, it shoots orange juice and vodka at people. <laughs> oh, man. I probably shouldn't have gotten that. It's young to drink. No, you're not. Oh. oh. I'm, I'm young oh. enough just to drink. I like the layout of this that area. Hang on oh. a minute. This... It's already been through here. Yeah, I've been through here. The, uh, what the hell is it called? Fuli or something? Fune. Fune. Like in a Fune. Yeah, I, was, uh, I was really anxious you were gonna go through a door and then have the drapes back here. Oh, yeah, you thought map, I would be that stupid? <laughs> not this time. I'm not gonna fall for that again.
right. You didn't save. Oh. Fuck! I didn't save! Oh, I thought you... Yeah, I thought you knew that. I didn't know there was gonna be a boss <laughs> here! Fuck! Uh... Ew, what are you? You must die um, for your hideousness. That's kinda mean. You know, you just walked into his house and started shooting missiles at him. His name's Belcha. Um... Isn't that, uh, the... The barrel from Donkey Kong Country oh, 3. Oh, holy crap. It's a reference. It's a, you saw how you countered the missiles like that? Just no, you saw how you countered, you saw you, how you countered his shots like that? <laughs> yeah, you're kind of a This guy's not that big of a deal. <laughs> uh oh. Come on, I got plenty of super missiles. Nope. Oh, I no. think I know. Here, I'm trying to knock him in the lava. Yep. Yeah. That's why uh, I said. Uh, that's why I'm going with referencing a game that came out after this one. <laughs> There's a boss of Sonic Food that you have to push yeah, into a... Yeah, the, the desert one. Desert. <laughs> you I guess you can caused. push him. I usually just wait. Man, why is this guy giving you health? Yeah, why is he trying to make you alive? Well, I, I was he's asking why is he giving you missiles, but... Yeah, he's Delibird. He thinks the present is an effective move for Shit. Oh. oh god, you're gonna take me now, aren't you? Well, we all have him. I don't know. You just, don't gotta, you just gotta stop. Oh, he got to the edge. Mm. Oh, that works. I think. No. No, it makes him very angry. Yeah, I don't think I've seen that before. No, I, I, I have. You don't want to use power bombs in this dude. So power bombs is a bad idea. Come on, go back. You have to get it in the you have to get it in the mouth. Yeah, I don't get super missiles. You might need to max out on missiles before it gives you supers. I've seen a lot of missiles. Yeah, looks like it. So I need to find a missile recharge station. Because the amount of or you can just gr you can just grind on missiles and not use them on his on him until you have a good supply. He's gonna back you up in the wall though. If you don't make some progress. Look at all that. Yeah, yeah, well. You gotta break a few wigs to make an omelet. <laughs> so. You know, I shouldn't say anything. There's a faster way to kill this idiot. Oh, look, a super missile. Yes! I shouldn't waste it. Oh, crap. Oh, 
told me I had to be more bald in his mouth somehow. <laughs> Luckily, no. Oh god, that's why I don't want to think it that. No, don't use the... Oh no. Why'd you do that? Okay. Yeah, that wasn't an accident. To be honest, I wanted to commit suicide so I could start the fight fresh, and rather than having to fight him from all the way to the back wall. At least he gives you some room. He's not. Is that a total negative? Yeah, he, he he respects your personal space. Ah, so much for that. I'm dying. Ah well. Oh man. Anyways, I think that's a good spot to call it, all right? Because I didn't say it. You go. You probably should have told them whatever you, you abstain from. Oh. From what you're about to say. Oh, thank God! It don't. It saved me right before the. Uh, before I ended up getting the map. So whatever. That's actually. Uh, you know what? This is perfect to leave it off. Yeah.